Dear Tim and Moby, What's the Earth made of anyway? From K. L. Helly. Well, there is a lot of metal in the Earth, along with silicon based rock. How do we know? Earthquakes. Like any other waves, earthquake waves bend when they travel through different materials. By studying the way earthquakes vibrate through the interior of the planet, scientists have been able to get a pretty good idea of Earth's internal structure. Yikes. The Earth has three basic layers, the core, the mantle, and the crust. The crust is the part of the Earth we live on. We can only see the very top layer of the crust. Underneath all that grass and dirt and sand and water and stuff is a layer of hard rock. The crust is about 5 to 10 kilometers thick in the ocean basins and 35 to 70 kilometers thick in the continents. Below the crust, you'll find the mantle. The mantle is made up of a mixture of elements including silicon, iron, magnesium, and oxygen. It goes down from the bottom of the crust to about 2,900 kilometers deep and heat churns through it. The mantle makes up the bulk of the Earth's mass, about two-thirds of it, in fact. Parts of the upper mantle are soft and plastic. This is what allows the tectonic plates that make up the Earth's surface to move around. The lower mantle is solid and extremely hot. At the very center of the Earth, you'll find the core. The outer core is Earth's only totally liquid layer. It's about 2,300 kilometers thick and made of molten iron and nickel. The pressure from all those other layers pushing down creates a solid ball in the very center of Earth called the inner core. It's made of mostly iron and it can be found somewhere around 5,100 kilometers below the surface. The inner core floats in the outer core and spins at a different rate than the rest of the planet. This, along with the convection currents in the mantle, is probably what causes Earth's magnetic field. Well, nobody knows this stuff for sure. The deepest hole ever drilled was only about 12 kilometers deep. That's only a tiny fraction of the 6,355 kilometers to the center of the Earth. Okay, but I'm telling you, it's going to take a long time to get to the core. Uh, I'll call you when dinner's ready. <laughs>